There was a disillusionment with Athens being at the helm of the rest of Greece. Federer was Athens. Sparta was Djokovic, the other competitor in the center court finals of Wimbledon. And so Sparta didn't even belong to the club that Athens started because they didn't need to because they were the badasses of the land fighters in all of Greece. Athens was the badass military force in the sea. Sparta comes along and says, hey, you know what, Athens, you guys are abusing your prerogative to rule over the rest of Greece. We are going to do something about it, and they did. And so from that point on, you start getting some serious conflict between Athens and Sparta. And it leads up to a civil war within Greece where any straggler city-states who didn't take one side or the other were at the mercy of either Athens or Sparta or both. So eventually there was a civil war between Sparta and Athens, and Sparta did all but destroy them, agreed to let them keep going on because they respected their culture enough to do so, allowed Athens to keep going on with the understanding that Sparta would be the new kid on the block.